Happy Monday. Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another episode of Dreaming with Drifters. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit more than dreaming. Lissa has talked me in to grabbing the old mechanical hole digger over here, the auger. We're going to give you guys a little bit of work today on DWD. Yep. But Lissa also wants to talk about the road and what our plan next step with the road is going to be. What's happening? Well, we've had a lot of suggestions, guys. A lot. And and before you go any further, I don't want you guys to think that we do not read the comments and do not just listen to the suggestions. I know I've read a lot of comments about how we're just not paying attention to our subscribers and that you're commenting for no reason, but you're not. We are listening to your suggestions. We are. And we're going through each step. We're trying to figure out which one is going to work best for us, guys. And, uh, you know, we tried the, the second road. And it just wasn't a good idea at the end of it, you know, yeah. but we still tried. And so on to the next thing that we've, you know, we've been told so many things. Yep. So we're just, we're going to go down and we're going to try every little thing that we can that yep. we think it might work. So, so next up on the list is what we're going to be digging the culvert. Yes. Next is digging the culvert. And then we're going to... Put the shit. We're gonna. Our plan is to uh, to dig on the lower spot over here. You know what? Want to just walk over here? Okay. It's easier just to show you guys than to try to explain it because there might be some new people here hanging out with us at Dreaming with Drifters. And if you're new, thank you so much for coming over and subscribing. We do get new subscribers almost daily, so thank you guys so much for coming over and subscribing. Um. If you are new here to the channel, we have been battling uh, a muddy road here for a couple of months now. Um, ever since winter, really, the mud in the road has just taken over and we haven't been able to overcome it yet. Check this out. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be the spot where we're going to dig the culvert. We're going to go ahead and dig a trench and we're gonna trench all the way across the road we're gonna dig out into here and you can kind of see the water line where the water goes up and around and through there so what do you think you ready to get the trenching yeah you can grab a shovel and start digging right now if you want <laughs> i mean Let's try. You want to see what it looks like? Let's see. Okay. Let's just change the game on me, guys. Oh, she... Lissa pulled a Michael. Lissa has changed the plan in the middle of the action. We were going to dig some holes. Let's just address how easy it is to dig a hole. Let's see if the ground is soft enough there or if it's rocky enough. Okay. Let's just get that over with. You want to... Wanna, over here yeah uh, i need to grab my uh, gloves real quick okay challenge accepted let's we'll see if a shovel will work challenge accepted yeah. there's a shovel right there where is the smaller one wouldn't that work better uh the trenching shovel it's over here we'll grab that one That way both of us can work some. I'll grab this one. Okay, Alyssa. Y'all done. Y'all done got to see a side of Alyssa that most people don't see. Alyssa done got um got a little fire under. She's ready to check something out. I've, I've been seeing her wheels spinning all morning. We've been sitting here talking about the day. Um, and yes, we will be continuing to work on the dog fence a little more today. Yeah, so we're going to address this right now. But uh Lissa wants to check it out. She wants to see she wants to see it in action. Let's go ahead and put it in action. So I'm gonna post you guys up right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this shovel somewhere. Okay. 
Okay, hold on. What, right about here? Um, look over, see where that little hole is over there to the right? Ah! Over here. We're gonna put you guys right here. Give you a little boost. A little boost so you can see what's happening. All right. Remember, we're not going to be like digging a hole. We're going to be a step. So, you want to? I'm going to move you guys over here. We'll move you guys over here a little bit so you can see what's happening over here, too. See, there's that hole over there. And we, we can show you guys what's happening. All right, now be careful. Don't want you guys falling in the mud. Be careful. The ground is a little wet. It's a little topsy-turvy. I don't want you to fall. <laughs> All right. So, in theory, you know, we're going to want to go this way, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, let's move this crap out of the way. gonna make a lot you know what I'm saying look something like that you know or try to keep it as straight as possible into the mud something like this a little softer here so that's a good thing Soft. Well, it's so muddy, it should be soft. All right, but around here, just because it looks like it doesn't mean it is. Right. So this is good. I don't know why. I should have grabbed that other shovel. Let's see what it's going to be like here. I don't know if you're going to be able to continue on. Now, this is a big puddle right here. This is a big hole. All right. might be able to trench it out. Great news. <laughs> now we know that it's diggable here. So are we going to stop digging right now? Yeah, because we got to finish the fence. I just wanted to get this out of the way. Can we dig here or can we not using a shovel? All right, so good news. So we can use a shovel to dig at least this area. Now, the further it goes back, I don't know yet. I'm so glad that Lissa didn't want me to sit here and dig right here on Drifting with Dreamers. <laughs> I just wanted to try it out, and I wanted to give them a chance to see if using a shovel would work in this area. So now we know, at least in this area, the ground is soft enough and not rocky we can use a shovel, at least through here. And if, well, if there are rocks, they will be able to come up a little easier. Right. Okay. Because over there, where we're digging, putting the dog pen up, 
the ground is not so forgiving like this is right here. So let's go check that out. All right, now we get to drill some holes. Now I'm excited. Let's use some power tools. I need editing when we're uh, working with a shovel, and this is not going to have any editing. <laughs> I need to make it seem like it's not so many swear words. <laughs> <laughs> Because, um, yeah, digging with a shovel for an extended amount of time. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I'm going to need a, it's going to, it's not going to be a family friendly affair. We're going to need some of Lissa's editing magic. Let's get well, back out here. thank you for giving it a go so I can see dear. Naturally. I appreciate it. No problem. Hey, if you want to give something a go, we'll give it a go. Now we can give it a go at digging another one of these holes. Now let's try digging over here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here you are. I'm going to pass this over to you. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a little explaining. This is a little behind the scenes. A little bit of, little bit of news. We set up the lines. All the lines were a lot tighter, obviously, before the kids were running around and, and me and David running around, stepping on the lines. This back row right here is not going to be straight whatsoever. It started off straight. Come check it out. I got nice holes that come across my first, my first and second hole. Nice on line. Look, you can see the string. You see what I mean? How it's like the strings at the back of the at the back of the hole, so I know where to put the post and stuff like that, and and look down the line, right on, and then this this one goes in the in the center, and then that hole's way to the left, and then the corner is way back to the right. But let me show you why that is. Look at this massive root. Look at this. Yeah. This is right where I wanted to drill my hole. And uh, it would have required a lot of work and a lot more digging to be able to get right here. So I just bumped it up a little bit. Whatever. This is um this is about the halfway point anyway. So we'll be we'll be figuring something out. Same way down here. Another massive root system. So I just went up more and we got out of the way. We were able to dig in. Hear the birds? Yeah, spring is sprung. Birds are here. But what I didn't realize, all five of these holes I drilled, I drilled them all with the bigger auger bit, the corner post bit. We actually have a smaller bit that I wasn't aware of. I just completely forgot about it. I squirreled off and forgot. So Sorry, wait, hold on. Oh, what is that? Look, a sign of spring. Hey. Okay. This comes off really easy. Uncle David asked me, he said, are you still using that bigger auger? So what do you mean? He goes, remember the bit I gave you is the smaller one. You got the bigger one on there for the corner post. And I was like, ah, nice to know. <laughs> <laughs> this one is actually brand spanking new. It's never even been used, I don't believe. Or at least it doesn't look like it. Let's put this pen back in here. Oh, the moo cows are out too. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is a two stroke, which means that the gas and oil is mixed together. So there's no spot for me to check the oil. I want to make
make sure I got it all turned on the right correctly. Oh, first, we obviously got to measure out where we're going to do our next hole. I'm only going to go six foot away from this to drop my next post. And it ain't got to be absolutely perfect. Something like that. Six foot. About right there. About right there. All right, let's see how many tries it takes us. Hmm. And this is why I don't like two stroke. You can do it, my king. I hear it wanting to start. Oh, come on. Oh, Listen. come on. We'll be so grateful you would just start. Right here on camera, all the pressure. Can he do it? <laughs> or will we have to pause it so I can... Meditate one time. <laughs> I do have it on, right? I don't think we should meditate if you or we should pause it when you meditate. I think the <laughs> folks want to see that you do that. We're getting the back view. Huh? It said, oh, we just got the back view. <laughs> uh oh. Did you hear that? I did. Woohoo! You did it. Give the uh, motor a chance to warm up. Alright. You're going to notice that I'm going to get very firm and grip because right now I got a bruise. Melissa can verify this. It's a pretty bad bruise. The guys. size of my fist almost right here in my uh, hip and pelvic region where it came back and hit me. <laughs> Take this out real quick. And, and, that, and that's about as far as we get. <laughs> See the rocks. There's rock down here. 
I got a lot farther than I, th I expected though. That blade was catching up. Where's that rock? Hmm. I wonder if it was just catching up on the root right there. All right, well, let's give it another go. Oh, I'm warming up. Top layer coming off. Already. I always layer up, no matter what. I don't like to be even chilly if I don't have to be. I'd always rather just pull a layer off. Me too. <laughs> we'll shout out to our friend Jess over at Tree Haven. What's going on, brother? Over in Ozark, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what we can do. You hear that? Yeah. Sounds like there is a rock down a there. something down there. <sighs> Just to dig a hole. <laughs> Just to dig a hole. Oh, there's a pretty nasty root right there. Oh, there's some. <laughs> Natural. All right, I'm going to use the post hole digger for a minute. That's that. That's the root. That's a mega root. We might have to cut this root out, Lissa. Okay. That's gonna be done with a sawzall and a wood blade. I'm gonna see if I can't go around it though, because this hole is not, dang it, man. Is that a root right there too? Nope. I found the rock right here. Let me get the shovel. I want to complete one hole for you guys. Just so I can say I, can, I completed it. I'm going to have to dig around so I can get to this rock. We almost got smacked in the face with the shovel. <laughs> One rock at least. Dang it. That rock ain't out yet. See, it's good and it's good and muddy over there. But over here, we got Rock City. <laughs> It's a guessing game, I guess, huh? Ah, oh, Rock City. I will not let it defeat me, though. <laughs> Rock City. We watched the Flintstones, one of their movies, last night. Ow! <gasps> you okay? Yep. I'm great. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> the shovel just hit me in the face. I'm great. Baby. I love your heart. <laughs> mm 
Mm. The root is now interfering with the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it though. Oh. No! <gasps> the shovel broke! No! <laughs> I, know, I, I know it's not funny, but you guys have to understand stuff like this happens every time. <laughs> I need a pick. I think I need. Somebody said, one of you awesome subscribers said that I need a digging bar. Maybe it was Mama V. Do they make digging bars? Do I need a bar to dig? I thought we needed. <laughs> Oy vey. Oh, Dios mío. I'm not ending this episode before this rock comes out of ground. <laughs> Where's the other shovel? Um. We didn't get. Right no, well, it's right there. Oh, oh, true. oh I see it. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. If I don't do anything else today, I'm getting this rock out. I don't care if I gotta dig a three foot hole. Another rock, or is that the root? Let's see the rocks he's already pulled out, guys. Watch your head, baby. Now I don't know if it's rock or root. Ow, that's a rock. <laughs> that's a big rock. We might be going to Ace Hardware today. I want to get a pickaxe. Look at it, you see it? Yeah. It's huge. Look at this rock. I think this is a, a root right here. I'm pretty sure this is a rock. We won't defeat me. <laughs> you might be buying a new shovel also. How long will it take to dig out a rock? <laughs> yep. Oh, it moved. That, that, or did I've it, move? it move? Did it move or did my shovel move?
Watch yourself. So many rocks. <laughs> uh. Oh. It's not even the one in question, Lissa. Oh, it's not? Nope. Come on! No, it's right there. It's still there. <laughs> and this is why we only have five holes dug. Uh -oh. I admire your determination, though, my king. Oh, we won't let it whoop us, baby. A little dirt in your mouth? Yeah. The... Hey, I appreciate all you people out there sticking it out with me. <laughs> Do you think I'm going to give up? I don't. Do you think I'm going to let it whoop me? I was really asking them. <laughs> Look at this rock. That's a, that's a big one. Look at how it's shaped. It's almost like a it's almost like a little mountain inside the mountain. <laughs> There's a root right beside it. What? <sighs> Time check, baby. We are at 34 minutes. Oh, 34 minutes to dig this hole. Uh, well, not the whole 34 minutes digging the hole. <laughs> you guys, every single hole has been like this. So like, so this one, except for hole number three, see all these, <laughs> that one, the, all those came of that, all these came out of this one. See that? <laughs> this one was good for the most part. It had little tiny rocks 
like that. Nothing like too big. Man, though, this one had so many. So many. I found the bottom of it. It's like seven inches thick. It's like this big. Well, I mean, positive side, at least we know this part right here doesn't get so saturated and like wet, right? Yeah. That's a positive side. Yeah. Since this is where the dogs are going to be. Very positive. And we also learned that it is soft enough where we need to dig over by the driveway. Yep. It's also positive. Now, when we get this rock out, it's gonna ha I'm gonna have to use it in some way. When we get this rock out, I'm, I'm gonna need to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> it might be lunchtime by the time I get this. I just poured so much dirt inside my boot. Oh. Look at this. Uh. Oh, oh, it moved it. It's moving. Shoot. We're going to need a... Good save. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to need a new shovel. <sighs> this daggone root, man. It's come back to haunt me. I tried to dig around it. It's come back and curved like a banana. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Y'all don't know it, dreamers, but YouTube has helped me so much uh, with my swearing profanity. I was, I was one of those. Uh, I use it a lot. I mean, I won't lie. I get it from my mama. <laughs> but um, I tell you what, YouTube has helped. Just because I'm trying to be respectful. Yeah. Die! <laughs> I got that root. Let's see. <laughs> I'm getting this rock. Oh, another rock. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a good thing we have cement, huh? I bet you can pull that out. I bet you can pull it out now. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Yeah. Oh, oh my world. gosh. It's so heavy. Wow. 
<laughs> the hole's not even dug yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you got the rock. I told you guys, don't give up. You can always work through it. It's going to be hard. You're going to want to kick and scream and cuss and blame everybody else. It's easier that way. Sometimes you just got to grit it and get through it. I really appreciate you guys hanging out before hanging out with us to get this rock out. But uh, you know what? It's time to get the progress going. I love you guys. <laughs> Catch us tomorrow. Catch us on the next one. Catch me after a nap, maybe some lunch break. I don't know. Keep on dreaming. <laughs> Bye. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye.